Hi, Claudia. I was just about to go for a run. Mike, my selection as the first woman president of the ICC court won the GAR Award for Best Development in International Arbitration. That's amazing. I wanted to call you right away. You did call me at 5.45 a.m. to tell me about the committee's decision. I, 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 was, I was very excited to tell you the news. I'm thrilled to receive this phone call. I was truly honored. The committee included so many international arbitration giants, including the late Emmanuel Gaillard. Well, we needed the firepower, you know, considering the incredible candidates, including many women, and also the importance of the selection in this moment of change around the world. It's also a testament to Alexi Moore, who as president had the audacity to insist on gender parity of the ICC court and establish a fully transparent process for the selection of his successor. But I stand on the shoulders of those who came before me. As Kamala Harris said, I may be the first woman in this office, but I will not be the last. I want every woman to know she has a place at the table. I couldn't agree more. And I imagine that'll be one of your priorities then. Yes. Diversity is fundamental to the legitimacy of international arbitration. It ensures we reflect the entire global business community and their values, from SMEs to multinationals. We want ICC to be seen as their essential partner to help get them out of a crisis and back to business. Let me thank Global Arbitration Review and everyone who voted. I will work to ensure that ICC lives up to its reputation as the leading international arbitral institution.